Hi everyone, this is Gigi. Today is July 17th, 2013, and I'm here to do another collection video. This is going to be my collection of video collection video of Make Me Blush. Um, I like this one especially in the spring. It just says spring to me, and I carry it sometimes in the summer as well. To me, it's just a very feminine, very pretty pattern, and I like it a lot. The largest piece I have in it is back here, and this is the pleated tote. I really like the pleated tote, and I use it sometimes as my tote and almost as my briefcase at work. It just works really well. It holds a lot. Um, I brought a water bottle so I could show you. I'm going to put this water bottle in the outside pocket there. And see, that's how big that bag is. Is um, And there's plenty of room even to put something beside that water bottle. And uh, the inside has like zippers and pockets, and it's great. I really like it a lot. So the other things that I have in this is I have the um, book bag. This is the original, I think the original book bag. It's, I think, the smallest of the book bags that they make made, which I like. Um, I use it as, as a purse as opposed to a book bag. Uh, for a student to have it for a book bag for school, I think it might be too small. Uh, it's pretty small. It really is not for a book bag. You couldn't get you could get an an iPad in there, but you could not get like a laptop. I don't think. But it's a nice, nice, very nicely quilted. Both of these bags are very. They're the old type quilting, which is very thick and nice and comforting to me. Anyway, I really like that one a lot. Another purse that I have in this pattern is the um, not just a clutch. I like this one for more dressy occasions. I like to carry this to church or to a shower. Um, I took it to a uh, graduation party this year. It, just when you need a purse but not, you know, a great big purse. And um, when you're just in the mood, sometimes I'm in the mood to carry a pretty clutch. So um, it's really pretty for that. See, that's the bags that I have. Now, the accessories that I have, when I carry the... Um, either the tote or the book bag. I like to carry the medium cosmetic, and I have that here. The main wallet that I have to go with this is um, the um, opera wallet. I know some people don't like the opera wallet, but I do. It's very structured and hard, and um, I don't know. I just, I've always liked the, the opera wallet. I have several of them. I also have um, binder clips, the small ones. And along with the paper type products or desk type products, I also have the day by day. And that, of course, has three different patterns on the inside there. The three little books in it. I'm really, I haven't opened those yet, but I'll look forward to using those probably this next spring. And then at the outlet sale, I got one of the keychains with the little ball with the pattern on it. And then when I carry my not just a clutch, I like to carry the double kiss lock as a little wallet with it. And then I also have um, this, and I, I'm trying to remember what this is called, and I don't have my little tag anymore. Oh, there, I wanted to show you the inside pattern anyway, so that works out pretty good. That's the inside pattern for Make Me Blush. can't remember what this cosmetic is called, but I've used it before, especially when I carry the big tote. So those are all of the things that I have in uh, Make Me Blush, with the exception of... Uh, my coin purse. I do have a coin purse in this, but I have my coin purse collection all in one box. I think I may have mentioned I'm trying to assemble one um, of every pattern. And of How do I want to say that? The coin purse collection, I want to eventually get one in every pattern that Vera Bradley has. So I just kind of leave that intact in a box upstairs. When I get closer to completing that, I will I'll show you guys my collection. I'm probably eh, maybe about a fourth of the way there. I don't know. I'm going to have to pull that out and look one of these days. Now, if you saw my video the other day, I did a video on the Mocha Rouge collection that I have. And um, when I went upstairs to put my Mocha Rouge collection away after showing it to you guys, I found on my bed three more pieces. <laughs> So I must have just gathered everything up and didn't get these for some reason, but these are three additional items. This is kind of an add-on to my Mocha Rouge collection. This is a tune-in. I usually carry this when we travel um, because it matches my travel 
items, and uh, of course I put my um, earbuds in that. This is just a regular wristlet. I like to carry this um, sometimes um, when we're traveling as well, and I will use it either as a wristlet if we're, <coughs> excuse me, if we're like going out for a day trip or something, or just, you know, um, we take a lot of cruises, so if I'm just like doing things um, on the on the cruise ship, it's a nice little bag to just uh, loop over my wrist and take. And I sometimes use it as a cosmetic. And then this is uh, the Lunch Punch. I also have that. I haven't even used it yet um, because I, I don't know why, <laughs> but I haven't yet. I will eventually, I'm sure. I take my lunch frequently to work. So, there you have it, everyone. A new collection uh, video of uh, Make Me Blush and an update on my Mocha Rouge. So, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all very much for um, your comments and um, for watching and subscribing. We're having an absolutely glorious summer with a new little lady in our life. She is, uh, we are head over heels in baby love right now. All she is just adorable. All six pounds, five ounces of her. She was a little thing, but she's very healthy and perfect, and we're very happy. So thank you so much, and I hope you all are having a good summer and a great day. This is Gigi. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.